Germany uh, has started thinking about uh, value chain analysis already in 2005. That's interesting because uh, in 2005, uh, Germany has um, uh, published guidelines, 70 pages uh, as far as I recall it, uh, including a chapter about value chain analysis. The, I think that Germans uh, have anticipated uh, these, uh, these developments, but have been in a relatively comfortable uh, position being uh, uh, an outbound country with many headquarters in Germany, uh, subsidiaries in foreign countries. So it was not that, uh, there was not that high pressure for Germany to uh, think immediately about uh, applying the, the value chain analysis, but it is already part of the German guidelines. Um, as you can see here in, in, in this overview, there are uh, all details included to prepare uh, a value chain analysis, to perform uh, in detail uh, all that what we have seen from, from the colleagues uh, by different approaches. Um, but now the times have changed. Uh, Germany has, uh, and that relates directly to the, to the latest BEPS development, Germany has realized that uh, this uh, strong base of IP ownership in Germany, a lot of patents, know-how, uh, including uh, 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 marketing intangibles, brand names, uh, etc., uh, are, uh, or are attacked by, by other countries like China, like uh, Korea, and, and many others. So Germany is now, that's uh, my uh, observation from, from the practice, um, starting to apply what is already in place since more than 10 years. So, and I expect that uh, Germany um, and the German tax authorities are uh, in the meantime, compared to, to the times 10 years ago, uh, better trained, more experienced, uh, more familiar with, with global value chains, with, uh, with, with global business models. And I expect that uh, Germany relatively, on relatively short notice will follow what uh, already has been started by a country like China.